Hello everyone, it is ITK.Wolf here, and welcome to another video. Now as you can see, this is WWE 2K22. It finally launched tonight as of recording, this is like 2am, it launched like 2 hours ago. Um, if you ordered the Deluxe or NWO editions. So I figured um, I'm going to make a lot of content for this game, because um, I'm super excited for it. Um, I'm going to be doing... GM mode series. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do it with Munter Noodle as I have in the past um, due to the fact that we live in different towns now, so we can't get together and film, uh, unfortunately, but I still want to do it by myself. Um, TKWF will be coming back and on this channel. It won't be on the old channel because I have no access to it anymore. And lastly, but not least, I will be doing this series, which I'm going to be doing right now, which is Superstar mode. But I'm going to be doing it as a created superstar. And basically the whole goal of this series is start out as this generic superstar at the moment. He's just got a name and an, a random attire that the game gave me. He hasn't even got his own entrance or moveset or anything. Basically, he's going to progress with us in the series. So when... Um, when he like has a good feud or something, we may change his attire, move set, you know, um, entrance and all that type of jazz. Win or lose, I don't really care. That's the end goal is to main event, main event WrestleMania. So we're starting out on NXT, just a random Joe Blow who just graduated from the Performance Center. He's gonna work his way up to maybe the North American Championship, maybe even a tag team and eventually win the NXT world title, in which case, after a little bit of defending that title, I will draft myself to either Raw or SmackDown, and that will be where the next series of the saga continues. Um, you know, still being in NXT to defend the title uh, as I have it, but at the same time, I'll be on Raw and SmackDown, growing my career there, and then once I drop the title in NXT, I'm full steam ahead, and so forth so on and so forth so this series could go very short if i like speed run my way into wrestlemania or it could be a long series that lasts the whole span of the game we don't know yet that's why we're trying it out so let's get into it okay so basically all i've done is i've set up my superstar chose andy walker is my character's name it's just a random generic name i thought of um it may change down the line to just be shortened to Walker or something, you know, as I do with NXT moving to the main roster. But for now, um, let's have a quick look. So you got your superstar info. Um, so it tells you all your, like, your stats and stuff. Um, edit superstar. So I can edit my attributes and and stuff so it looks like i got salito del sol and the dragon twist cutter as my finishes nice nice i'm 36 on the power ranking so okay so i don't really want to like force myself into the power rankings but we'll see how how things play out um at the moment i should be right at the bottom yeah okay so i'm very last at the bottom so i gotta work my way up into the career mode um status effects I'm not going to look at that just yet. Um, options, I don't know what options will do. Curation menu appearance. Okay, I don't know what that stands for. Automatic rivalries, yep. Um, that's just like all your, your generic... Um, that's just your generic universe stuff. Okay. Let's get into the first match. Now, I personally will be playing all the matches as my character. So, there will be that. Might just turn that up a tad so you can actually hear the noise of the Elgato. Okay, that may be a little bit too much. Okay, it's nice to know that it's NXT and not NXT 2.0. Um... But we are in Winter Park, I'm assuming Florida. I don't know abbreviations of American cities. 
I also don't play with any sound, so they may be saying that over my head. Okay, so I'm main eventing NXT in my debut. Okay, this is definitely an interesting um, perspective to go into. Andy Walker versus Roderick Strong, NXT debut. So I'm going to build like a little story in my head that, you know, they've been hyping me up for a few weeks. Uh, you know how they do in NXT, or how they used to do. I haven't watched NXT 2.0 to know if they still do it, but how they used to do like hype packages to hype people up. So at the moment, I'm just a generic... Um, just you generic baby face. Um, haven't done anything yet to, you know, decide whether I'm going to be heel or a baby face. The crowd is mild at the look of Andy Walker coming into the ring. Will he win his debut against Roderick Strong in the NXT debut? It'll be an interesting one to see nonetheless. Now, I should mention in this series that I will not be doing um, just wins. Um, if I lose a game, if I lose a match, you know, I lose a match. That's the whole point of, like, a career is you win some, you lose some. You don't, unless you're like Goldberg, you don't go on huge win streaks. Oh, shit, Roderick Strong is a Cruiserweight champion. So I'm debuting in a match against the Cruiserweight champion. I'm not going to lie, I forgot that the Cruiserweight Championship was in NXTs. When I was going through all the titles that I could potentially win, I didn't even consider the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, I'm not going to break out often, um, especially since my character's starting out as a, um, as a babyface. And, you know, I could easily do it to, like, try to spark a feud against the champion, but that's kind of cheating like you don't want to throw yourself right into a title feud on day one especially considering you're like the lowest of the the low right now in the food chain so we'll let him play out his his entrance um i'm not sure how long i'm gonna make these videos because i mean we're eight minutes in and i have and i'm only just getting into my first match it might be like a match per video or something, maybe two matches per video. Try to keep it around the 20 minute mark, depending on how long the matches are. Okay, now I haven't played much of this game, so... Um, I'm not still not used to the new controls and stuff yet. As you can see, the game's still showing me all the, the workabouts and stuff. <laughs> I got a road break, but I'm still going for the dirty pin anyway. <laughs> You know, even though it is technically my first match, um, you know, you want to show some signs of potentially, you know, wanting to do anything to win. That seems to be my signature move right there. Okay, that messed up just a tad bit. Ooh, flapjack there from Roddy Strong.
Oh, here we go. We're gonna take it to the outside now. Oh! I gotta say, what a strong starting out match. Sorry, I'm late, kind of trying to focus on the game, but also doing commentary at the same time. I'm also kind of tired, but I mean, what are you going to do? Okay, now let's try this the proper way now. Oh, here we go, Lucha. Lucha, Lucha. Oh, the Salido del Sol, and he stunned one, two. Oh, he broke out. <laughs> Andy Walker is not happy with Roddy Strong <laughs> after that breakout. One, <laughs> and a kick out at one. This is not how Andy Walker had planned his debut match going with Roderick Strong kicking out of his finisher in the debut match and three I won off of a off of a standing moonsault oh god and ladies and gentlemen Andy Walker has made his debut in NXT. Um, looking at the fact that we're only at like 12 minute mark and um, I'm probably gonna make a couple of cuts in this video, we probably will do two matches a video um, just to see how things will go. Okay, so there's a very high chance that that's a rivalry match after that. Okay, so it was a three star match. The viewers really liked it. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely that. Yeah. Okay, complete your first match in your first superstar mode. Hell yeah. Nice work on your first match. You can explore other options or continue playing superstars matches to see what events unfold from there. Okay, let's see what the next match will be. Will it be against Roddick Strong again, or will they pair me up against someone else? Wait, is this a pay-per-view? Oh no, no, it's just a regular thing. Okay, I just didn't see that entrance the last time over. So, I mean, the hype's got to be around, you know? Andy Walker debuting in the main event of NXT against the Cruiserweight Champion and beating him. You know, there's got to be some hype around that. And, you know... Who knows what could happen? Oh, I'm in a triple threat match against Zaya Swerve and Pete Dunne. Oh my god. This is going to be a real test in this to see how things are going. You know, I did a couple of heelish things in the last match, but I'm not going full heel yet. I mean, I just debuted. I don't want to, like, debut as a heel. I want to stay a baby face for a little tiny bit. Which is why I didn't break out at the end of the match to attack Roddy. Um, but we'll see how things go in this... The following contest. In this match, Andy Walker with the triple threat match main event. I don't know why... I don't know if it's just the game mode itself, if it forces you into main events i was kind of hoping you know like start off as like openers and stuff not straight into main event um but i mean i guess you see what you can do from there but for now andy walker versus Zayas wave what what was that i think i just had a, a stroke Zaya swerve and pete dunn the bruiser weight. I don't even know if he still goes by that. <laughs> um, that moniker. 
I don't I haven't watched uh, wrestling in quite a long time but it should be an interesting one you know um, no I've just beaten the cruiserweight champion now I'm going up against two big names in the company and two main events in a row in two weeks it's definitely an interesting um, showing here on how this career mode could go you know um well superstar mode i should call it it's not the my rise career mode which i may do content in that if there's enough hype for it um i've never been real one for the like um story mode type things which is why i'm doing the, this universe mode as a created character um because i've just never been that into um like the stories that they have for the career mode i didn't mind it in in 2k15 when it was like uh bare knuckles like you play a character you just work your way up the ladders till you win a title okay so isaiah swerve is the north american championship so a win over the cruiserweight champion and then a win over the north american champion in two weeks that would be an amazing feat and would definitely rank, raise me up the ranks i swear to god if next week it puts me up against the nxt champion i'm going to be a bit pissed <laughs> um because i'm i wanted it to be like a, a slow gradual climb to the top not just a hey here's your your championship feud in your first match <laughs> But we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> My guy looks so weird compared to these other two. <laughs> he just looks so pale and small compared to everyone else. Oh, the arm. <laughs> this is basically like P. Dunn versus his eye swerve, and I'm just in the the middle of it. <laughs> I kind of screwed swerve over there. <laughs> I'm just flinging myself around the ring now. Oh, he's going for a pin? Oh. Oops. And then as I swerve. Oh, that would have been a great counter. <laughs> Oh, and a roll up. Here we go. One. Oh. I can dream. It would have been a nice one, but. Oh, the suplex across the ring. I need to do, learn how to do like outside springboards and stuff. That would be dope. I don't even know if my current moveset has them. Oh, I was like, wait, is he going for a pedigree? But he was just going for a backbreaker. Oh, and out goes Swerve. And now go for the roll up on Dunn. I had a kick out at one, of course. <laughs> Actually, there wasn't even a one, that was a four one.
Gotta get your signature. One per match. Corner kick in. I love the, like, using, like, the heelish things. Like, only a heel would bring a weapon into a fair fight like this. Stopped me from doing the Salida del Sol. <laughs> but I still hit it on him. Let's go. Heat, don't break it up now. That would, oh, that would have been a perfect finish to the match. Come on. <laughs> Psychology, guys. I'm in a roll out now. And then I'm a bit stunned. I don't know if there's a way that you can like shorten that at any point. Okay, yeah, it's slowly going down. I don't know if it's going down because I'm pressing buttons or... You know, they're fighting on the outside so I can recover a little bit. <laughs> Get a bit of that. Get a little bit of that fire gone. Oh, a Pele kick. Oh. Now this is certainly a, a brawl and a half. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Come on. Ooh. My guy's just determined to get owned right now, isn't he? <laughs> Alright, they're getting back in the ring. I think it's time for me to do that too. Salida del Sol out of nowhere and Swerve stops it, of course he does. Why would you stop it, Swerve? Like, sure, you don't want to lose the match at all, but like, come on, Swerve, what are you doing? Okay, I kind of stuffed that up. Ignore me. Yeah, this match basically was meant to be P. Dunn versus Swerve, wasn't it? And then they just threw me in because I beat Roderick Strong. You can tell by every time they beat me down and then they just like go after each other for ages and forget that I exist in the match.
Ooh. That's gotta hurt. Swerve, break it up, man. Swerve, come on. Attaboy, Swerve. Swerve, get off me. I don't think that was my finisher, but come on, Swerve. Yeah, that's the boy I was going to say. Come on, Swerve, kick out. You could get hit by the Salido del Sol out of nowhere. Oh no, not the Swerve kick to the back of the head. I don't actually know what his finish is called, but like, come on. Come on, done. Done. Oh, thank God. I thought I could, like, resilience my way out of that, but apparently not. No, done. No, what are you doing? No. Oh, kicked out at the last second. Man, Swerve is, like, so hype about that, but... Okay, maybe I can't do it out of nowhere. I've got to like build it up. Oh god, I don't have any reversals. Oh, I do. I do. Yes. Done. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna like rest up a little bit, let these two deal with each other. Maybe not that much, but... Oink. Bam! The move that put away Roderick Strong. Oh no, no, oh no, swerve man, come on, I was gonna say, okay, so I do still have a resiliency every now and then, oh no, no, nah, he's one now, swerve, come on, you gotta kick out man, you gotta kick out, oh, what a hell of a battle, I should have resiliency there, but I just didn't have the time to kick out, Alright, congratulations to P. Dunn. As I said, this series is all about wins and losses. I mean, this seemed like a, a high-intensity match and like a, you know, like a big must-win, like, type of deal. And it didn't make any sense for my character to win anyway. But it was almost a five-star match. <laughs> okay. Well, guys... This has been, I would just want to like see if anything happens out of this. Okay. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, we are one win, technically zero losses because I wasn't pinned in that triple threat match. Remember that. Um, but thank you so much for watching this first episode. Let me know what, uh, what you liked about and what you didn't like about it in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. As I said, I've got plenty of 2k22 content planned for this channel as well as more content outside of gaming and other games as well so yeah be sure to keep an eye on this channel because more content like this will be out see you in the next video guys much love stay awesome Awoo!